Hey everyone, it's B from Bees. Bees here to do a comparison and troubleshooting video today. We've got a little infestation on these plants and we'll show you how to solve it. If it's early enough, if you can catch it early enough. So if you like this content or found it helpful, please smash the subscribe button below, hit like. Also, um, you know the other part of my main mission here is to conserve the bees, everyone. We're all about bee conservation. So if you would like to donate to my mission, go to the GoFundMe page below. Pretty small infestation, um, and I caught it early enough to deal with it. I picked up this NorCal from my local grow shop. It was recommended from the local grow shop. It didn't work that well. I do not recommend that product. So, coming back later again, and I still found the thrips on my on my plants. And the ways to check for, for little uh, bugs or infestations here, we're gonna do a close up on this plant here. Is that you can see there's some browning around the leaves and the leaves may be drooping and curling. An experienced grower may think, oh, I'm underwatering or a lack of a nutrient or something or a mineral. Yeah, check for bugs because there's gonna be, if you turn up the leaves underneath and look underneath them, you may find bugs. Okay, so check that out. If you see that kind of browning on your fan leaves, okay? It's most likely bugs. What I did do is go to my local Ace store and I picked up a three-in-one. This is a safer brand. They mentioned that it takes care of thrips, all right? And other small um, insects and mites, okay? So I picked this up and so far it's worked. I gave each treatment a, a few days to take and it gave them a few sprays to make a difference. And this three-in-one so far has made all the difference. Now maybe I can show you how to spray your plants today. So what I would do is I just tip up the plant and spray underneath. You want to get underneath because that's where the bugs live, okay? Rotate it. Spray underneath it, okay? Make sure you get up and underneath these fan leaves. Same with over here. Now I can do this because it's early enough in my beds process and we're not close to flowering, I would not split, spray this on flowers, okay? We're only gonna do this when it's this early in the veg process. Where it's always up and underneath, okay? Now that was just a light example of how to do that. You're gonna wanna soak them as much as you can underneath. And so once you do that, that should take care of your problem. Maybe do it today, do it tomorrow. Maybe give it a day in between. Um, there's other serious sprays you could do. You could do like a systemic spray that's gonna get into the plant's DNA. But considering that we're gonna consume these plants eventually, I didn't go that well. We didn't want it. We don't want to change that plant's DNA. We just want to keep this surface level so that this spray can wear off and we consume these plants later. Okay, so it's harmless that way. So like I said, check for that browning on your leaves and see you might have bugs. It could be a little problem. It's not a nutrient thing. It's bugs. So make sure you spray early enough and catch it early in your in your system that you can solve the problem. If you let your problem go too long, once it gets past a certain point, it's my belief that the plant is no longer medical use, okay? And you need to throw it out. If you spray too much or use too much chemical, it's no longer medical. You need to throw out your medicine, okay? It's no longer good. You don't want anyone to consume it, okay? Let's be responsible growers. Anyways, um, hopefully you caught your problem early enough to fix it. Thanks for tuning in today. Bees, bees. We're on a mission to save the bees, everyone. Happy growing.